Our next contest for the Better Photography Weekly Challenge is Let There Be Flash. Our judge and mentor is Maxi Xavier. Maxi has several feathers in her cap. She's an established photographer, photo editor, and journalist. In her three decade long experience, she has worked with some of the most renowned publications and media groups, such as Chip, Digit, Overdrive, Better Photography, Indian Express, ITP Media Group, and Network 18. Currently, she heads the photo department as the photo editor at Forbes India, where she leads a team of established photographers. Hello, Maxi. Hi, Nilifa. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Nilifa and Better Photography team for having me here. Photography. What do we understand as a lateral definite, definite meaning for photography? Photography means drawing with light. As photographers, we are always looking for the perfect light. And yet, the quality of available light isn't always ideal. It is rarely perfect. This is where flashlight comes to great use. With careful usage of flash, one has more control of light and it enhances the way our photographs will finally look. Before we can truly understand off-camera flash and all the other uh, types of flash photography, what one should be extremely aware of is the direction of light and the quality of light. We need to observe the light that we have and then decide how best to use it or and enhance it. Some of the important points, as I now mentioned, is direction and quality of light and capturing the moment. When I go out to shoot, these are some of the things that I will look at. One of the first things that I will do as a photographer is I will see the scene and try to create an ideal composition in my mind. Then I will try to understand how I should light up my subject and the background and fog or foreground. I balance between the ambient exposure and the flash power settings to make that final dramatic difference in the final image. Many a times I use different sorts of light modifiers to get the light just right on my subject, which is the key, my key element. So I will use flash, I will use cutters, and I would perhaps use grids, various uh, uh, reflectors. Um, these are some of the things that I would generally use and I go with all this when I, for most of my shoots. Another very important uh, aspect of it is posture of the subject. Um, that's also some, you, you will get the right posture of the subject if you go with your right references, uh, talk to your subject, make him or her at ease so that he or she understands what is what is it that you're looking for so if you so most of the magazine shoots that we have a lot of it is pre prepared you you prepare at least in your head how exactly you're going to shoot and what you're going to be shooting when we go for a cover shoot um, we first sit with the editorial team understand what the story is about then there's a planning which goes behind the shoot. So the design director, uh, me as a photo editor and uh, the editor, we all get in together and we decide on the various possible variations on how the shoot can be done, how the final image should finally, which should, it should look, uh, what sort of ambience would be there around it, depending on the story, what they would be perhaps be wearing, uh, their expressions, all that is all, a lot of it is pre-decided. So a lot, a lot of times that we go for the shoot, uh, we would already have our references in hand. And uh, so the poster is already set and you know that's how we go about it. Uh, what I will be showing you images will be uh, images which are shot both outdoor and indoor, um, on camera flash, off camera flash, mixing flashlight with ambient light and a little bit of studio shoots. 
so uh, I will start with this uh, a very strong image, uh, as you can see. Um, it's uh, I have more. We have modified you light using uh, you, you modified the situation uh, outdoor situation using lights. Uh, uh, this is one of my favorite image. One of my favorite images has been shot by Selva Prakash for Forbes India. Uh, in 2019, we did a photo story on India's sports women. Um, basically, their stories of perseverance and hardship, I mean, hardship, um, which drive determined girls across the country. Uh, this picture shot by Selva Prakash is one of uh, such a strong woman, uh, long jumper Shaili Singh. Uh, she leaps under the watchful eyes of Long another long jump legend, Anju Bobby uh, George at the Sports Authority of India Training Center in Kengeri, Bangalore. Um, Anju emphasizes the importance of training to rid Indian athletes of an inferiority complex that they are overcome with when they compete internationally and to learn to present themselves as champions. Uh, Selva likes to use off-camera flash, flash technique which helps to separate the background and the subject. Here, he underexposed the background and overpowered it with three lights. This image captured in midair is a classic example of what one can do to freeze motion using flash. It was shot as one 2,500th of a second under broad daylight conditions against the sun. This is a picture that is shot by me, uh, shot quite late into the evening. We had driven miles to reach this remote village in the interiors of Rajasthan to do document violence against women. I wanted to show the dark, stark landscape and the remoteness of the location. I mounted my flash on my camera to click this picture to show the harshness of the surroundings that this small lives, this small family lives with. The next family is miles across, and you will see the hillock uh, much further away into the horizon, and you can see a small hut over there. That is where the next family lives. Uh, in this, so. Um, this is how I used flash. It was very late in the evening, so I wanted to show the, uh, you know, all these elements uh, around this particular image. Uh, this is a corporate portrait shot, which I clicked in, in a, on a hot Sunday afternoon here in Bombay. Uh, I, I, he had given me an afternoon timing, and as photographers, it's always scary to go out and shoot in the afternoon because of all the harsh highlights coming in. Uh, I was fortunate to find a small uh, green patch in his office uh, surroundings and uh, I used a uh, flash uh, along with a, a, a silver reflector if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I got this beautiful portrait of Miguel Munoz. This is a recent uh, photograph uh, shot by Edric George uh, of, a, of the founder of uh, Boat uh, Headphones uh, on a, a late afternoon recently in Goa. He, here he used a single flash gun to focus on the subject more and darken the background. And as you can see, it also brings out uh, the colors uh, of the subject. So you directly go to his face and you can see very clearly uh, the board uh, logo there. Uh, this is an early morning shot. Um, here the flash again has been used very beautifully well. Uh, this photograph has been taken by Nishant Ratnakar, uh, one of our photographers in Bangalore. Uh, See the flash has been used so well that it brings out a 3D effect in this uh, particular image. 
um so here nishant satnakar felt the uh, the overall ambient lighting on this shoot was soft it was early morning and also very overcast he wanted to add a bit of punch and contrast to the subject so he added a directional light in exactly the opposite direction of morning of the morning light brought in more depth to the image using a flash to give highlight to the subject standing in the corn field uh this is uh, a, a, an image which i shot uh, somewhere uh, last uh, the year before last uh we were doing a story on stand up comedy in regional languages um and we needed to shoot a group of uh, marathi artists uh the artists uh, worked out of a very small office uh, in shivaji park and once i reached there i realized you know badhiya shot nahi banenge banega idhar so i just thought what do i do and i said like hey here we are at shivaji park the quintessential marathi uh, you know uh, capital here in maharashtra in 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 bombay and shivaji park beach right over there so i told these guys hey uh, you know let's go there and do the shoot and they very nice guys like they said yeah yeah sure why not uh, and imagine like convincing five people to go there but i was happy they all agreed to it um, and then here we have uh, shooting them shivaji park beach uh, to shoot the sons of the soil as i would say i used uh, two handheld uh, flashes and then placed them um on on rocks around this place i told this boys please take care of these flashes just dekh lena <laughs> because i know right when i'm shooting you i don't see anything around uh, mm. other than what's happening in my frame so uh, i was just fortunate to be able to get these crows flying there on top and then these guys looking at me a beautiful shot late evening yeah so i got this and um and uh, the one of the things that uh, he told me uh, rabio uh, raibole that the guy is sitting in the center he is the founder and the ceo of uh, cafe marathi and uh, they manage around 20 marathi uh, comedians uh, so one of the things that uh, he said was the biggest challenge was creating acceptability for marathi comedy subtle unlike the loud comedy people are used to both for the audiences as well as for the comics so you know with this particular image i emphasize what he said like you know being subtle and then still getting the punch in so if if i if i didn't have the flash here at this particular time i would have not got this beautiful contrast especially like some of these guys are lighter in color and some more darker and um, I, I evening shot so uh, the sun is already setting here and you know i wouldn't have got light especially on some of these guys so that flash helped me a lot uh, again another one couple shot so i love to do i love to shoot people like you know i realize it's like whatever like you know they they may be uh, art they may be corporate heads they might be celebs by their own self they may be stars but what's most important uh, when you shoot people is to create these equations between them and you uh, so that you know you have that the, this the right posture like no matter how much we sit in the office that we discuss with our team uh, we you will not get a good shot if most importantly if you don't understand your brief well that means you you must get your brief strongly from both the editor and the design director and all of you all have to be on that same page even the photo editor we all three when you are on that same page then you get your marvelous shots um, so here uh, so i did talk to my reporter also before i went uh, i always talk to my reporter uh, who's doing the story before i go for the shoot so um, i realized what was what were the impressions of these guys that she had in her head when i go there i i hope to get those same equations and i found that naini and i were on that same page with that so here we have astral pipes sandeep engineer is just there right in the center he's a first generation entrepreneur and to his right is kaira when i talked to him i realized he's an extremely wonderful wildlife photographer so you should 
come to our Forbes India page and see some of the images shot by Kaira. Uh, that's an equation we got when I met him there in Ahmedabad. And uh, the, to our extreme right is his other brother, Soumya. So I photographed these extremely down to earth billionaires at their beautiful yet simple home in Ahmedabad. Like you can see this beautiful light falling from their ceiling and reflecting right here on this, creating this beautiful uh, geometry here on this wall. Um, uh, I used, uh, 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 I, I definitely used one light from here. I think I gave a highlight from here to symbolize, like as if this light has, you know, reflected back here. That's what I did here for this particular shoot. Uh, and then I uh, created the shadow and light uh, on the ceiling onto the, uh, captured that falling onto the wall. Uh, finally, what I got is a picture of tranquility in the home of a philanthro capitalist. Uh, and he's actively involved in also setting up a yoga center. So, you know, when you go here, it's, it's a completely very peaceful, uh, I think I captured that part of uh, this family very much. Uh, we go on to, yeah, Ronnie Skruvala. So in this particular image, uh, now yeah, uh, I have captured ambient light as well as uh, flash photography in an indoor space. Um, here we have Ronnie Skruvala, the entrepreneur. Uh, I, in fact, he was the first uh, pitch, uh, uh, the first person I shot uh, during the times of uh, COVID. Uh, so he was, uh, Ronnie was the first person whom I went to shoot. Um, what I realized is that uh, what drives Pruvala, a first generation entrepreneur, is that every time he builds a venture from ground up, it's for scale and value. This is a space that he works from. The books and the inspiring art crafts to his right the garden to his left and in front. This is the workspace from where Ronnie starts any business with an intent to, in his words, never exit ever. So I think I captured uh, his essence in this particular picture. Um, again here I have mixed the ambient light. Uh, there's light coming in from the window behind uh, and then I have used a uh, flash uh, here from the left um, um, and I have created a very harsh uh, highlight on his right hand side uh, there is a very particular reason why I created that harsh uh, hard light there uh, I, I noticed that he had some scars uh, towards his left side. Uh, so what I did is I, so that's the reason why I have used that harsh, hard, hard light over there and let it merge uh, and look like as if it's the sun coming in from the windows there behind. Uh, to, you know, this was done to avoid seeing those scars there. You can still see a little bit of the scar on his right hand side neck over there. Uh, here is again another one uh, uh, person when I again I have used ambient plus uh, available light. Uh, yeah, this is Bill McDomad. Uh, he was then the CEO and executive board director of uh, SAP AG. Uh, he, I've again used, uh, I've shot him using two lights. One light for the background there and uh, another light to light up uh, his right hand side. Um, there's an interesting uh, anecdote to this image too. Um, uh, in July 2015, uh, McDermott uh, suffered from a, a fall that cost him his left eye. So you can see that he's wearing uh, sunglasses, uh, the dark glasses. Um, this happened in July 2015, but he returned to the SAP headquarters in October 2015 of the same year, he took a very short break, even though he lost his eye. And uh, I have shot him 
in the first half of Jan 2016. Uh, so just imagine he is, uh, he got hurt in July 2015 and within six months he's also doing his uh, world tours. So imagine, uh, you know, uh, how strong his grit is. Like, you know, he, and he, this is what he, the beauty of guys like this. Like, I, I love people who have these, some strong stories behind them. Uh, and then we have Sajid Nadiadwala. Uh, this is again mixing, uh, you know, what light was available there in that room along with uh, the studio lights. I went, uh, uh, this was again a very important shoot. So sometimes for some shoots, uh, if they give us time, then we also go for a recce. So when I went for the recce, I, I just saw that the whole room was black. The flooring is black, the walls are black, the roof is black, his all his tables, chairs, everything is black. And he also only mostly only wears black. So I was saying, like, shoot kesa karun. Like, what? <laughs> uh, but when I just explored his office space, I just saw I saw this beautiful miniature. So I said, okay. Uh, I would I would use it. So I had gone to do the Reiki in the afternoon, uh, and at that time I real I, I noticed this uh, the sun falling into this room from his left hand side. Uh, I also realized when I went there I when I whenever I go for a Reiki I go with my app to show see okay what time that sun can fall in and stuff like that. So I realized the time around which this would happen. I requested the team to give me time to shoot Sajid at that time. Um, because as all celebs and uh, stars and some and top corporate honchos, they will just give you maybe around 30 minutes of their time for a shoot. Mm -hmm. There is very rarely they will move out of that uh, time slot. So fortunately, uh, Sajid agreed to the time that I requested. Um, uh, so I, I, I took up about 30 minutes to uh, do my lighting and all that. And the shot got over in few minutes. I got just a beautiful, perfect shot with him smiling at me, just, just right, and you know my lighting all right. And yes, that that was my uh, double spread. Uh, another one very interesting person I met was uh, Viji Siddharth, the Coffee Days. Uh, when we lost him, it was like you know I I just remembered. Um, meeting this uh, extremely uh, humble, simple person. Um, I shot him in 2015 in Bombay when he was here to open a store at Inox. Um, a simple, non-assuming human being with a ready smile. Uh, reflecting that simpleness, I shot him with a single light and created a halo right behind him. And I left a cup on the table and the slogan on the wall to do the rest of the talking. Extremely simple, mild picture. Uh, this Akancha Chaturvedi um, has been shot by uh, Arpit Jain for Forbes India. Uh, so she, uh, this pretty young girl, she's just 25 years old, uh, come back uh, from abroad and decided to start something here new. Uh, so she uses OTT platforms to make education affordable and accessible and uh, she has her own studio um, where some of the best teachers from the top 10 schools in India, uh, subject matter experts, visualizers, animators, etc. have to create an engaging learning experience. So I thought why not um, use her studio with some of her own paraphernalia and click, get an image click. So I gave this brief to Arpit and I'm very happy that uh, he followed the brief very well, or something out of by himself and took this beautiful image. So you see, now even here, Arpit has created an extremely good equation with Akanksha. And see how beautifully he's lit her. You know, he has he has his light here, which comes directly here and is shooting and, and you know, the her, her hair has come out here so beautifully well. Uh, there's just a slight bit of a reflection of that light here on this uh, camera uh, here. 
and he's used the light, uh, his key light is from, his, from the right around here and like quite very beautifully uh, done shot by Arpit, uh, shot sometime late last year. Uh, another strong woman that I shot, Harsh Dina Zaveri, uh, managing director of uh, NRB Dealings. Um, it's always interesting to meet a person who doesn't sit inside your usual regular stereotype. Uh, as a photographer, I think it's very important that we need to step out of stereotypes that society might want to tag you into and never leave a chance to break it. So it was great delight for me to get this opportunity to photograph Harsh Dina Zaveri. I wanted to shoot her on a shop floor and she agreed to it very enthusiastically. Usually someone would say, okay, I will wear a pant and a shirt. And she said, no, 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 I'm very comfortable. So she's there in her dress with a nice jacket. Um, and it suddenly it took me back 30 years before when I was an engineering student and I went to uh, for a, a factory visit. Uh, just, there were just very few girls in my, in my batch, uh, more, much more guys. And we went to the shop floor for the factory visit. And the supervisors didn't allow us girls into the factory saying that we as, as girls would distract the, would distract the workers. Uh, fortunately for us, our, uh, um, our male students, the male, our friends, the male, they said there's no way that, you know, this is not how it should be. We should have equality for all. And, you know, these are the future engineers of our country. Uh, we should treat them equally. Uh, so that's how I got into that shop floor there. And it just took me back there. And, and then here there is a woman just there that directly, you know, driving it. So it was a very strong woman, very wonderful to meet her. And then this very fun image of Banti Raja. Uh, she was on the list of our great uh, people managers. And uh, she believed that human resources is more about building relationship than managing people. Um, so she says that the company didn't want a conventional HR person. So she was designated as chief happiness officer. So I scouted throughout the office to find a place which will depict that this is a place of happiness. And uh, yeah, the great thing about with all these super managers is like you don't always, I mean, they, they, with your few words, they get get you exactly right. You know, they, they will know what needs to be done. She took me to a few places and one of the places she took me was to this pit. Uh, and she said, this is where a lot of uh, our, our people come here and meet when they want to take a small break in between work. I said, awesome. And apparently they throw these softballs at each other. So then I said, I made her sit into that pit and I made her throw the balls in the air and swap balls in the air and uh, I, I, I got this shot. And um, yeah, this is one thought that I wanted to leave behind here. Uh, saying that, wouldn't we all love to work in a place like this and have fun with colleagues throwing softballs, uh, especially the ones you don't like very much. You don't hurt them too much. <laughs> but you can throw something at them. <laughs> so yeah, a fun uh, office space, lovely colors and all that. Then now I wanted to move into uh, how we can add color uh, and shoot some of our uh, images. So you have to be very careful when you, uh, when you add color. It has to uh, definitely reflect and tell what you want to say. Uh, so here, uh, this is a picture uh, again shot by Nishant uh, of founders of a visual object intelligence platform that enables uh, industrial robotic arms to see, understand and manipulate any object. So what you see behind it is a, ro is a robotic arm. So uh, we added, he, uh, uh, Nishant added uh, a dramatic red colored light in the background to create a mood like a sky fi poster. Uh, we are using this to associate uh, this red colored movie with sky fi movie. So uh, in fact, before we, I, I give a small brief to my photographers on uh, how we need, each of these images need to be 
short. Uh, so many of them have been working with me for quite some time. So uh, Nishan got this perfectly right here again. Uh, yeah. So this is a shot that uh, I took uh, beginning of last year. Um, I was inspired to do this dramatic lighting to emphasize reinvention. A key point that the CEO had laid emphasis on during his interview with our reporter. Uh, since they have one of the best R&D facilities, I shot in their lab. Shot him in their lab uh, using blue and uh, yellow gels associated with reinvention. So I think I would have used about uh, three lights uh, here pockets of blue light somewhere and then there is this yellow light here and there is one more yellow light which I think is about three lights that I used for this. Um, now we will go into studio lighting uh, where everything is completely controlled. A lot of it, the lighting is completely controlled. Uh, so now here we just need to concentrate on getting the postures and the emotions right. Um, so here uh, I have shot uh, Shraddha Bansali. She's the founder of uh, India's uh, first terrace farm, ter terrace farm to table restaurant. Um, it, so it's uh, it's just not about only about healthy eating. It's all about also about clean eating. Um, so the image with her posture, the elements in her hand and around on the floor are all very self-explanatory. Like everything, whatever she farms is what she serves. Um, yeah. Here we have our dilemma, Vicky Kaushal. Uh, so in our celebrity issue earlier uh, in early Jan last year, uh, uh, we called Vicky Kaushal the Josh machine. Uh, when you see this image of him weeping, you can un understand the amount of enthusiasm packed in him. I don't know how many times I must have made him jump because I just wanted that light to be so perfect, uh, the shadow to be right there at the posture. And this man was so brilliant and so cooperative. <laughs> of course, we got the shot pretty fast. So for shoots, we have the whole team which goes from office. Uh, we have our design director, we have uh, uh, the other two photographers and um, the, uh, the reporters writing the story. So it's, it's a beautiful combined effort to get this image just so beautifully right. Wow. Then we have another beautiful picture of Tapsi Pannu, such a beautiful, versatile actress. She's known to speak her mind on social media about gender parity. And here her attire and posture speaks eligently of these thoughts of hers. Like, so again, these are all, so whenever we do celeb shoots like this, even have, here in this matter, we, even the clothes are pre-decided. The designer and you know all that is decided much ahead. Uh, posture references are there a bit, but a lot of uh, modifications and adjustments are made on scene. Then we have this beautiful gentleman, Leander Pez. Uh, we were doing a story on Leander and how this uh, tennis star became uh, India's most prolific success story. At age 48, he's looking forward to featuring on his in his eighth Olympics. Um, yeah, short about, I think it's short in 2015, 2016. And um, just three years back, see how young he looks. And uh, we gave him the headline for them for this is everlasting. You know, it's so apt to describe this gentleman, ever, evergreen, everlasting. Uh, Rohit Sharma, I remember meeting him quite immediately after uh, another win for the Mumbai Indians. Uh, so, uh, and the vice captain also of the Indian team. Uh, as he prepared for the photo shoot, he revealed and told me that it's rare for him to panic. Drawing an analogy, Sharma said, facing the camera 
is similar to facing a bowler. bowler. It's fun, it's normal, and I would be myself. And that's how I captured it. <laughs> Uh, photography uh, but my hard disk is cracked so I just shared a couple of images that uh, uh, I have uh, shot so this is uh, at an outdoor location somewhere in Alibag very very early in the morning so we reached uh, the night uh, the previous night uh, set, must have started setting up the space by somewhere around four o'clock so this shoot must have been, you know, early morning shoots, especially with shoots like this is just, you would have around 15, 20 minutes. So by that time, all my highlights and everything had to be done. So uh, for this particular shoot, I would have used at least five to six uh, lights with different sort of modifiers, reflectors and all that. Uh, so you will see a lot of highlights in different parts uh, of this image. Uh, was set beautifully well uh, with help of uh, our editor for better interiors that time, Pupali Sebastian. Awesome editor to work with. Uh, this is uh, another shot uh, which we did here in Bombay. Um, I used some lights to highlight this green over here, uh, then uh, a light here to create this beautiful play of light here. This is uh, again light coming uh, from outside through some grids. Uh, love how this image finally came out on the cover for better interiors. Uh, so we're coming to the end of our uh, my presentation. Like to end with another uh, image which I like very much. Uh, this was uh, a style feature which I had uh, shot for Forbes India. Uh, and, uh, here again, we laid out the light very beautifully. It's a mixture of uh, outdoor uh, ambient lighting as well as uh, studio lights. Uh, it shot in Delhi. Uh, yeah, so we created highlights here and along here. Uh, there would be a highlight uh, for the two men standing here. Uh, here also everything extremely well arranged, like as you can see, it was a fashion director who helped us with the styling and uh, arranged for the clothes um, and the attire completely. Uh, the art director, Anjan Das, uh, photographer, that, that was me and uh, was very well assisted by uh, Madhu, uh, my consulting photo editor, and Amit Parma for this particular shoot. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's how you know. I hope you all, you you, uh, all of you all enjoyed uh, watching this. Uh, 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 do you have any um, tips or suggestions that would you that you'd like to give to the photographers? Considering there is also a cell phone photography um, category in this. Uh, uh, see, like, though I wouldn't like to use uh, of, uh, on camera lights much, but uh, if you remember, there's one of my first photo document that for a shot that I showed you of the photo documentary that I, where I rarely use lights because it Sometimes what happens is it disturbs. But at that time, it was uh, I, I created this equation. It's very important to create equations to the people whom you are shooting. That's extremely important, especially uh, you know people that you want to shoot well. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one thing that I would always suggest. You know, talk to your subject, make that person comfortable. Baki ka sab is there. Like you know, it's just it's just coincidental. First, you create your equations understand what you're going to shoot. You know? So that's what, I mean, when I started the presentation, that's what I told. Scout the scene, see what it is. Like, you know, you understand what you need to do. You understand your subject. What is it that you want to focus on? 
and then you bring in all your all the other uh, flash lights all that is secondary but first understand understand your location understand where the light is falling from it's fine if you if you're using on camera uh, uh, mobile but create your equations yeah okay. that's what i would expect. yeah that's very okay. important okay your lights study what's available for you the first you study your subject second see what's available for you at that particular time use it to your advantage yeah, that's what you should do and uh, as i was looking at it a lot of places um indoors as well as outdoors the flashlight is a little harsh in some places you've not uh, it's rather uh, soft so how do you sort of decide that like if you remember that one picture of alfred i used harsh light hmm. i used harsh light because even before i knew before i went for the shoot i knew that about uh, this guy i knew uh, it, that it was there like, you know. so i knew i would be doing something like that so all that i once i go there all that i needed to do was find a place where it would look natural so that reason why when you look at the image because i told you that i use a light there mm -hmm. that's when you realize it if i wouldn't have told you you wouldn't have realized it mm -hmm. that's where I, i use the harsh light over there um again uh selvas which is the picture right in the beginning hmm. uh we knew that we want it's a long jump a, lo a long jump shot so we knew we uh, i mean selva definitely knew that he is going to take a picture in the air hmm. so again it's very important to know your subject know what you're going to do be shooting especially when you're using flash uh so you you know what you want to highlight and what you don't want to highlight mm. so that's an important thing to remember okay i believe that uh images in a magazine work beautifully well um when we have this complete um uh, collaboration a strong collaboration between the editorial design and photo teams when there is a cohesiveness in that team that is when we get uh, beautiful awesome images all of us think with that singular mind on how it needs to get done and then voila we get an awesome image <laughs> which everybody is happy with then <laughs> all right okay thank you so much Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>